back it's time to get interactive and see what people are talking about on facebook and send that tweet blah 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 hey what's up i like the color of your top it complements your skin tone thank you very nice i was going to think you i thought you were going to say the, the the color of my eyes you know when you're in the west you wear a shirt and say, oh it brings out the color of your eyes beautifully uh, well i don't yeah, know about that about my eyes i just know your skin tone <laughs> uh, so what's up what are people going look to into my about? eyes what do you see today see? me and you we are not fine <laughs> What's up? A day. Mm. Uh, I was actually going to ask your thoughts on instant justice. Instant justice. Mm -hmm. I think that by human nature, like yeah. I got somebody jump into my compound to rob me, <laughs> and then uh, very nicely, some boys had seen him jumping, jump. and then they also jumped, jump. and then they ambushed him. Man, the, the, <laughs> the aftermath was dangerous if I didn't take the person to the police station. Now, I got to the police station, the uh -huh. police says that, well, because the boy was beating, uh -huh. I should take him to the hospital <laughs> first, give him first aid at my cost, Can you imagine? and then bring him back. Back, so we take statements. Really? And did you? So, in fact, I'm not for instant justice. So that narrative should tell you my my take on instant justice. Oh, okay. I thought you would say because, or is it the cost actually made well, it unpleasant I mean, for you? Well, instant justice, I mean, I, <laughs> legally is not right. But, uh, but I, if I follow my instincts, <laughs> I'll kill somebody. <laughs> But no, you don't have to follow your emotions all the time. Well, good. I am glad mm. that Steve could bring it out to you as raw as he did. Trotro and taxi drivers can be a real pain, and I mean a really, really big pain. Disregard everything on the road, the sign, the regulation, everything else, and cause so much nuisance for other road users and pedestrians. They really, really get under my skin, if I can say that honestly here. I guess this is a common story for all of us, and I am sure that you can really relate to what I'm saying. Now we have uh, Superman, I will call him Superman, or his anchor for today, who decided to teach a trotto driver a huge lesson. The trotto driver was asked to choose between going to the police station or doing some real good press-ups, and guess what he chose? He decided to go for the press-ups. Some have applauded him for a good work done. Others say, uh, actually saying that he cannot really take the law into his own hands. And I'm wondering where you stand on instant justice, a la Mr. Jorge. So this is JN Interactive, and my name is Marion Turi. Don't go away. I have more for you when we return. Um, I want to Joy News Interactive is brought to you in association with... Surfline. It's about time. Welcome back. Surfline proudly supports GN Interactive. Surfline, it is about time. I'd like to announce all the social media tools that you need to get in touch with the show. You'll find us on Facebook.com slash join us on TV. Like the page first, comment on all the posts we put there. We'll share what you're sharing with the rest of the world. We are on Twitter. We tweet at Join News on TV and at JN Interactive GH. You can send your emails to join news. I am at multitvworld.com and our WhatsApp number 0540109009. I am on social media at MN Toure for Twitter and Instagram and Facebook.com slash Marian Toure official. Jane Interactive, as always, is where tech meets news to set the agenda. So over the weekend, former chairman of the UK and Ireland chapter of the governing National Democratic Congress, Jorge Sni Ayi Ankara, became a policeman. Uh, and the judge and the jury at the same time. I would have wanted us to take a look at some pictures on myjoyonline.com where he actually um, made a man kneel down, go down on all fours and do some press-ups, okay? And the press-ups were uh, per the choice of the gentleman because he crossed him in traffic, could have caused a lot of accident, he says. And so he decided to say, okay, I'm going to take you to the police station or you're going to do some press-ups. Which do you prefer? And the driver said, I prefer to do some press-ups. So the man went down on all fours and did a few press-ups. I'm wondering, have you forgotten that uh, the mayor of Accra, okay, also caused the arrest of a truck driver for actually honking 
at him and that also happened so we've got two different people who have uh, been caught up in that web anyway let's uh, get to the telephone line and speak to the man himself uh, he is in the person of who he's Ankara and he joins us on the phone um, hello oh hello good evening good evening and welcome to Jane Interactive how are you doing uh, I'm doing fine we thank God my first question though you must uh, be pleased uh, with yourself right now, punishing that truck driver. Are you or are you not? You mean, am I pleased? Yes. Um, well, I'm happy to note that, um, in fact, after what happened mm. um, from yesterday's interview, mm. um, I realized that the gentleman then drove carefully, okay. obeyed all traffic regulations, mm -hmm. all the way up to Kaswa. Right. And um, I think that is what we really want to see. Mm -hmm. Drivers do. Um, it's not that one did that just for doing it and um, just to be in the news. No, mm -hmm. I don't need that. Mm -hmm. um, I think that um, I would, I, I'm happy because um, yesterday, or no, in the evening when mm -hmm. uh, you, you guys interviewed me on, on radio, oh, radio. Um, okay. I was told that um, the, the, the reporter who mm -hmm. was in the, the vehicle mm -hmm. all the way down to Kaswa mm. realized that the driver was then driving carefully okay. and making sure that he was obeying uh, every single um, traffic regulation. Right. I'm, I'm wondering though, why did he give him a choice of either going to the police station or doing some press ups when you could have actually just taken him to the police station? Uh, well, um, I gave him that choice because um, I felt that the driver was actually driving so carelessly mm -hmm. and um, he could have actually killed anybody at all, mm. could have killed those who were in the car. Mm. And in fact, when after, 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 after his careless driving, you, mm. uh, you'll be surprised, his car actually landed in front of my car mm. and then he went to park at the trotter stop. So that was when I drove in front of him and I came down. I gave him the choice mm. because um, I, I wanted to present the whole thing as, uh, um, look, man, you are wrong, mm. but I'm not here to exert any uh, uh, um, powers or anything at all that uh, is, is, is not due me or something like that. But right. um, trust me, I will correct you and correct you now. Mm. Um, so I gave him that choice. and. Uh, in fact, it was a playful thing from the beginning, and um, I gave him that choice. Mm. He decided to do the press up. So, <laughs> unfortunately, you don't have the pictures of myself doing the press up with him. Mm. Uh, I did some of the press ups with him. Mm. And um, at the end of the day, I embraced him mm. and I told him that, listen, you simply have to drive carefully because you have lives on board. Right. And then um, I, I, I just left. But, but what, um, what, what motivated your action, though? Sorry? What motivated your action? What motivated me asking what? Y your action. Anybody, I mean, we've had, I've had people oh, cross me all the time me? and I don't step what? out. Oh, exactly. Personally, personally, I have been a disciplinarian from day one mm -hmm. since I've known myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I was brought up in a military home mm -hmm. and um, I know that uh, you, you, you simply have to do the right thing. And um, I've, I, I do have that motivation of making sure that the right things are done. Right. Um, unfortunately, this, this is, a, 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 what, I, what I should say, an unconventional kind of way of disciplining somebody in, in, in the street. But mm. I think that, one, um, even holding him there mm. and um, making sure that he, um, he, he did the right thing afterwards, mm. I think might have saved lives. But... Didn't you see that as violation of his rights as a, 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 a citizen of this country? Because I, I believe the police perhaps are the only people who have that right to, to uh, take such an action on a citizen. Well, uh, I, I don't think that the police themselves are qualified to sort of like ask anybody to uh, uh, do um, that sort of um, exercise. Okay. Or could ask anybody at all to... Um, Pressure. Then that brings uh, me to my but, point but, that but if the, the police who have the, the powers to, to no, arrest well, well, can't see, do that, that then perhaps you don't that. either. Sorry? 
I'm saying that that brings me to my point that if perhaps you're confirming that the police would not even have the right to do that to that man, then obviously you as a, a citizen also wouldn't have the same right to, to ask him to that, do that, so. That, that is exactly why I said to you that it was an unconventional way, mm -hmm. but I think that uh, we ended up having results. Okay. But I would also ask you a simple question. Mm -hmm. Now, how many policemen do you see out there in the street correcting such uh, drivers mm. who put lives in danger? Okay. Yeah? Mm. How many policemen would you not see yeah, in mm. the street at various junctions? which total drivers putting lives in danger mm. for those policemen or women who be on their mobile phone. Right. Are you getting what my point? I get your I, point. I appreciate, but... I appreciate the fact mm -hmm. that I think that um, if probably um, it is painting a different picture as to um, horizontal using an unconventional way of doing things, uh, well, I can apologize, mm. but I believe that at the end of the day, we got this driver to drive properly. Um, and I think that this driver henceforth will say to himself that any time that he's caught in, in any uh, serious act, he could find himself being punished, maybe by a policeman taking him to court or whatever. So, um, I don't know what to say, but um, I think that um, <laughs> uh, there's a dichotomy today. Well, Indeed there is. Uh, you, you couldn't have done that, mm -hmm. but I believe that at once, it, 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 um, um, it got the guy to drive properly. It got, uh, I mean, I mean, I, I'm surprised that this whole thing is, is, it has taken this time because to me, um, in fact, I did some of the press up with the guy. Um, I, I thought we had fun. Um, I, I, I actually hugged him after we did uh, the press up and I told him that, look, um, this is not to sort of like, um, say to you that look there's some powers or anything or that, that wasn't the case at all mm. this is a case where i saw a driver actually driving so carelessly right and there was no okay uh miss ankara i i would like for you to hold on right now i have uh, another person on the line whose thoughts would like to pick on the issue but please don't go away he is a human okay. rights lawyer francis uh Sosu, and he joins us on the telephone good evening and welcome to jane interactive yeah, good evening. Um, good evening to all your viewers. Um, I'm wondering, have you seen the pictures? Have you heard the news about it? And what was your reaction towards the punishment to the man? Indeed, I've seen the pictures mm -hmm. and I've read aspects of the news. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that this is completely an unacceptable way of living in our society right you know we don't have to set a precedent mm. that we cannot continue and that is why we have what we call the rule of law mm -hmm. and the rule of law requires not an obedience to law but also an ardent adherence mm. to due process right where due process would mean that we have a substantive law and we have a procedural law that prescribes how we should bring people to book mm -hmm. anytime we suspect that they are doing the wrong thing. Right. In fact, there is nothing wrong with a citizen who thinks that uh, an individual has committed an offense, mm -hmm. you know, in his view to, to cause an arrest. Okay. That is why we have private citizens arrest. Mm -hmm. Except that when you do that arrest, you immediately hand the suspect over to police. Mm -hmm. The police will deal with the person in accordance with the law. You cannot say that you have an unconditional, unconventional way of dealing with people and getting the person to do the right thing. And and I mean. How often can we do that? And, and how many times would we do that? And but, how many people would you want to do that? Exactly. But, you, but you Francis, can imagine the kind of lawlessness we can have in our society. But Francis, if people can simply say that. If you can uh, hear me. getting people to do the right thing unconventionally. If you can hear me, Jorge actually argues that he saved the lives of Ghanaians by actually punishing the man. Uh, isn't he justified for, for doing so? Honestly, he is not justified for doing so. Okay. You know, he's not justified for doing so because, I mean, I'm saying, I mean, what, what do you mean by you save lives? Mm. 
You know, I don't really get it when you say you save lives. I mean, it's okay you said you called the driver to drive, you know, um, 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 maybe correctly mm -hmm. or maybe drive more sanely. But you can as well do that by simply handing that driver to the nearest police station. Mm. We have to follow due process. And that is what the rule of law is all about. What he did actually is an abuse of the fundamental right to dignity of that driver. It, it, I mean, the, the driver, I mean, it, it is okay when we say the driver did wrong, mm. but the fact that he did wrong does not mean that he might be subjected to that dehumanizing treatment. Okay. Because how many people do we catch on the street doing the wrong thing and we get them, you know, get down on the street and begin to press up? To press up. Okay. I think it is completely Francis, just uh, pause for a minute. Jorge is still on the line. I, I would like to get a reaction from you, Jorge, Jorge about uh, what Francis is just saying. Oh, um, I appreciate I appreciate Francis's point. Mm. I appreciate the fact that Francis is talking law, mm. and I appreciate the fact that Francis will realize that at the end of the day, if this individual had actually killed Horace Sankra, mm. yeah, my two children would have lost the father. Okay. Okay. Uh, I also appreciate the fact that uh, uh, um, I, I, I did use a method that probably uh, um, uh, a lawyer like himself, knowing the law, would condemn. Um, having said that, I know that others who are actually fed up with the lawlessness that is uh, 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 raging up and down our roads, yes, would also also say that, look, we do support this gentleman. At okay. the end of the day, mm. at the end of the day, if it is against the law, I did not do something that I am so proud of to say that I am doing something to break the law. I saw this gentleman driving so carelessly all the way from La Paz until up to a point where he himself decided to actually cross my car and eventually pass. You understand? Mm. So I was saying to myself, look, enough is enough. Okay. If, I believe that if the uh, uh, police visibility that we talk about, if the police had been around, I wouldn't need to do that. That is the reason why I said to the gentleman, would you want me to mm. take you to the police station? Mm. Okay, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time here. And uh, if you're just joining us, uh, we're talking about uh, instant justice, whether it is right for all of us uh, to take the law in our own hands, to do what we think is right for us. Uh, don't go away. Stay on. I still have comments and your blogs coming. Don't go away. Welcome back. You're still watching JN Interactive when we are talking about instant justice, especially in line with uh, Jorge's Ankara pulling a man over and asking him to do some press-ups or choose to go to the police station, which the man actually chose, uh, the press-ups. Okay, so in line with the discussion, um, I would have wanted for you to uh, take a look at something. It is actually um, a mayor, and shall we call him mayor, IGP, who actually also... Uh, meted out some instant justice to uh, another driver. Let's take that one. Uh, Roran Sankra, what he did was very, very bad. You should have taken the matter to the police and then have the police hand him to the police for the police to take uh, care of what has happened. By asking the man uh, to do press up as his punishment was very, very wrong. He, as an NDC top official, he was taking the law into his hands. He felt that after doing that, no one can tell him or say anything to him. That is why he felt he has to punish him instantly, which was very, very bad. He shouldn't have done that. I don't think it was it was the best um, option he had available. The best he could have done was to report to the police and then have them take it over from there. But to ask the guy to do press-ups by the roadside, I think it is inappropriate. It's not the right way to do that, okay? Uh -huh. He's supposed to hand him to the police, to police to, to deal with him. It's not the right way to 
let him to do press up. It's unfair. Like he just he can't just take any decision to do anything he wants. He did the right thing to me. Uh, if he decided to, I mean, send the driver to the police station, one, he might be wasting the time of the passengers. But what he did to me is fair enough. And if our policemen are being able to, I mean, I mean, um, execute instant justice or instant punishment for this kind of uh, reckless driving and other things, I think our road will be safe, safer. So the video blog you just saw is uh, what you have been sharing with us about uh, for his anchor's actions and most of you actually disagree with him. Let's do some of your comments that have come up now and let me approach my wall. Of course, the precursor has already been set for you to ask that or his anchor, uh, chairman of the defunct uh, events, <laughs> uh, grounds and logistics subcommittee of Brazil 2014 World Cup Committee uh, ordered a total driver to park his car and do press ups right in front of him. And what do you really make of that? Uh, let's start today with Nwokpo. God knows Billy, good one there. Discipline, you agree with him. Uh, Pepper Isaac says, don't blame any military man for doing so if it's cool with the politician. Okay, so if Oko has done it, then Hohes can do it. I'm sure that's what you want to say. Desmond Destiny up here says Ghana is gradually heading towards survival for the fittest. I wonder if there are human rights institutions in this nation at all. The AMA boss did same to a total driver and thus one too. Shameless leaders. Ooh, that hurts. Paparazic driver, please. Okay. And this one is a very long one. It's coming from Maxwell. Maxwell says uh from stress to breath kenneth w hagan stress is something i think you're quoting something for me which is what uh king james version bible and a very long thesis here which uh, i think is a very long one indeed let's say one more then we can go to quote this corner jonathan arthur says it's not fair because he's not a police and cannot do that um no the matter uh, the offense committed okay no matter the offense committed ah nice and um yes lord Cote, he goes around fishes for stuff for you and he does that on what we call twitter so let's see what's trending in lord Cote's corner it's terrific tuesday and i'm loving it hope you are too uh, no don't don't try to find me i'll tell you where i am later now today we are talking about jida reports are that the government has been able to retrieve 14.5 million out of the um, 240 million right so we are making progress aren't we now let's go to twitter and see what everyone is saying now the first tweet here says and i ask myself how many Ghanaians even know what jida stands for yeah, they want to be given air time to share their views on corruption. Very true, Bobby, very true. Yeah, and, and this is from Manasseh Azuri. He says, President Mahama gave the Attorney General's Department, Iyoko and the Finance Ministry Act December 31st, 2013. Well, we are in 2014. Uh, what's today's date? Yeah, 9th December. Okay, and this is from Kweku Boga. Seriously, there's no need for commission of inquiries set up to investigate events since its recommendations aren't implemented. Hashtag Jida. Okay, Kweku. And this is from Joy FM. The Jida sums are little. The isophotones, Boyome, etc. amounts are huge. We need such monies to move our country forward. And this, this is a quote from Linda Ufuri Kwapo, the AG. Yeah. And this is Kweku again. He says, 14.5 million out of 214 million? How serious is Ghana's Attorney General? Hmm, we're making progress, Charlie. And this is Joseph Edusei. Since 2013? Well, so it's taken us a year to retrieve 14.5 million, isn't it? Well, okay, so those are some of the tweets there. And for your information, JIDA means Ghana Youth Employment and Entrepreneurial Development Agency. Yeah. Okay, Marin, over to you. This has been watch trending. Sincerely yours, Lord Kote.
Betty is back, so we can wrap up the show together. And I, I must say, I, I'm loving... <laughs> Lord Cody. I'm loving Lord Cody. Mm -hmm. He was invisible today. Invisible actually. today, and then he signs up with Sincerely Yours. Yeah. I think he was yeah. writing a Twitter letter to us. Yeah, Sincerely Yours. <laughs> yes. Lord right. Cody. So, I mean, all these tweet, tweet, tweet things. Me too, I'm on Twitter. You don't know. Uh, yeah, he's so on Twitter. Follow, me, yeah? follow him at yeah, Steve Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, <laughs> so next time, I'll read it on today's Big Story. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my name is Steve Nancy, and thanks for hanging out. <laughs> my name is Ryan Ture. Have a good evening. Enjoy the rest of our programs. Good evening. Bye-bye. Join News Interactive was brought to you in association with... Surfline, it's about time.